Please. Look at this. Didn't know Joe could even write. We got another job. Something really big. Stop by Freddy's tonight. Bring a piece and some lockpicks. Who's here? <laughs> Where the hell you been? Laying around in bed all day? Hey, I'm entitled to a little rest after that last job, don't you think? What can I get you, sir? Coffee. Just for now. When Alberto hears about this, the shit is gonna hit the fan. Believe you me. So, uh, I <laughs> heard you didn't score too big last night. Well, it wasn't exactly my fault. Shit happens. All right, come on, relax, fellas. It's a high-risk business. If you don't like it, you can always go break your back working for peanuts down at the dock. Sorry, Henry, I was just breaking balls, you know. Uh, so how about tonight? We still on for what we talked about what? yesterday? We'll see you in a minute. That is too fucking much, too fucking many. I want my money! What? Like I'm gonna some kind of fucking charity here? Do it. Now! Who was that? Somebody you don't need to know right now. All right, listen up. There's a guy who owes the boss some money. He borrowed it to open some big jewelry store. He's not paying it back fast enough. We're gonna collect his payment tonight. In jewels. Plus, uh, a little extra for our trouble. Joe, fill him in. The jewelry store's in the shopping mall in the middle of town. There's no guards at night. So all we gotta do is pick the lock and waltz right in. Sounds a little too simple. Because it is simple. Why is everything got to be so fucking complicated with you? Says the guy who can barely change a light. Look, don't worry. I thought of everything. I got these phone company uniforms so we can pretend to be fixing something. Fair enough. Let's go. All right. We're going to rob this fuck blind. All we got to do is wait until dark.
Okay, so how'd it go with the port? What, you mean with Derek? Yeah, hey, he's a piece of work, ain't he? He give you a job? Yeah. I worked some guys over. But it was small-time crap. He shakes down these hard-up dock workers just like he did my old man. Well, you didn't have to do it. It's not like he forced you to work for him, is it? My mother almost did. We're whining and keep in touch with Derek. Trust me. He's got better jobs than shaking down wolf rats. Hey, you just went through a red light. What is this, the Indianapolis Speedway? What are you, my mother? I drive like my fucking grandma, you know that? Nah, it wasn't that bad. You're worse than abroad. Oh. Stay inside the lines, fuck off. What the hell is this? Come on, boys. The cops will be here any minute. Move it! Brian fucking O'Neill? What the fuck is this? You crazy bastard, what the fuck are you doing? Barbaro, what the hell are you doing here, you fuck? Yeah, you're a little late, Chief. There's nothing left here fuck for you. Fuck off, Fatso. This is our heist. You want to get out of here in one piece, you'd better yeah, hand yeah, over everything yeah. you've well, got. Well, the sign outside didn't say Brian O'Neill's place. If it did, I wouldn't have robbed it. Instead, I would have set it on fire. reported at the West Side Mall. Repeat, 1031. Burglary this in progress. This is car 54. We're on it. And I suggest you get lost before the cops show up. Ah, fuck! Kiss Let's my ass. get the ass. fuck out of here. Ugh. Gotta get the fuck out of here. What the hell are you waiting for? Get him, lads! Brian, what about the cops? Come ah, on, let's get out of here! I'm trying! Shit! Why did he open his door? Keep those assholes! <laughs> Almost got it. Hold him off just a little longer. Come on, you piece of shit. Open up. Okay, got it. We're out of here. Vito, come on. Freeze! Police! There's no way out! We gotta go this way, it's our only shot. Come on, Vito, move your ass! What are you fucking crazy? It's covered in ice. One slip and we're dead. We have no choice. I ain't going to the joint. Over here. You waiting for a formal fucking invitation? Over there! Shoot! 
Shit. Jesus, be careful. Almost lost it. Ed. Yeah. I think I just shipped myself. Where'd they go? They must have gone this way, Sarge. Oh, fuck that. I don't get paid enough for this. This way. This should take us to the street. He's never gonna believe this. this stupid bastards. Let's go. Fuck off, copper! I didn't do nothing! Look at the Irish my hands. <laughs> Who the hell was that? Brian O'Neill. Crazy Mick bastard. Not too bright. Usually works his hired muscle. <sighs> yeah, I didn't think he was the brains of the operation. Shit, the cops. Come on, get out of the light. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Don't worry. Give me a bag. I'll go ditch the goods. All right, pal. Meet you back home. Try not to get pitched on the way there. Hey, they're handsome. Uh, hi there. 
Joe ain't here right now. He said for you to meet him for lunch at Freddy's. I see. Too bad you had passed out when I came in. We could have partied. Hmm. Maybe next time, doll. Bye. Huh. That was something. Isn't that Joe's girl over there? Well, one of them anyway. You smacked up my car, I'm gonna smack up yours. How you doing this morning? Hey, fellas. Hey! Hey, Vito, this is Luca Garino. He'd like to talk to you and Joe. Luca, this is Vito. Good to meet you, Mr. Garino. No need to be so formal. Call me Luca. Take a seat, Vito. What can I get you? Same thing I'm having. And hurry it up. I heard about you running with the mix. <laughs> Great fucking story. <laughs> and I want to congratulate you, too. On a job well done. Salute. A salute. You guys did a hell of a job. Not too many guys got the stomach for this line of work. So now, uh... I'm wondering if yous are ready to take the next step. Yeah, sure, uh... What next step? I'm talking about taking somebody out. Just cause someone points his finger at him and tells you to do it. I was in the war, Mr. Garino. All I did was kill people I was told to kill. People the president pointed his finger at. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. The president. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> but you're, uh, you're talking about the Krauts, right? You know, the bad guys. That's not what I mean. Understand? Yeah. I understand. Good. We need guys like you. Guys who can follow orders without asking questions. You handle this next job like you handled the last one. And there's a good chance you'll be accepted into the family. After you pay the initiation fee, of course. And how much is that? Five grand a piece. That's a fucking fortune. Hey, nobody said it was cheap, huh? But trust me, the benefits far outweigh the cost. I'll leave it up to you two to decide. Henry's gonna fill you in on the rest. I'll see his guys later. There you are. Hey, you boss. You take care of that thing we talked about yet? Yeah, yeah, it's all under control. That's Henry's what you said the last time. Don't disappoint me again. Boss, Don't. I... I uh... Now come with me. We got some other business to discuss. So, Henry, what kind of job we talking about here? 
I gotta take a guy out. It's my contract, but Thanks. I need some help. That's where you two come in. Who's the lucky guy? Some fat fuck from across the river. The guy's been warned, but he thinks he's untouchable. Huh. And is he? Well, somebody tried to take him out once before. And? Let's just say they slightly underestimated him. How much is slightly? Fatally. That's a fancy way of saying they're dead, right? Hey, they fucked up. We won't. I rented an apartment across the street from his business. We'll sit there, and we'll wait till that fat fuck shows up, and then boom! We blast his ass. How are we gonna do that? With an MG-42. Uh... Where are we getting an MG-42 from? Harry. Yeah. He's a vet, like you. He's got a private little gun shop over in Kingston. You can get your anything from a pea shooter to a bazooka. And you don't need no fucking gun license, neither. Okay, Joe and me will go to the apartment. You go pick up the machine gun at Harry's shop in Kingston. It's all paid for. Just tell him I sent you. After that, meet us at the apartment. It's in Sand Island. The building across from the distillery. Apartment 233. Okay, apartment 233. Got it. I'll meet you fellas there in a bit. I'm gonna see you later. Good luck, pal. Yeah, so long, buddy. Get out of my face. Henry Tomasino sent me to pick up the stuff he ordered. All right, come in. Yeah, what's up? Uh, Henry Tomasino sent me to pick up the stuff he ordered. Okay, come in. Hello? So, uh, you're the guy Henry was telling me about, huh? Yeah. You got his merchandise. <laughs> yeah, well, here it is. MG-42, made in Germany. Hitler's buzzsaw, we call them. She's a beauty. 
25 pounds, 7.92 caliber, 1,200 rounds per minute, fastest in the world. 250 round belt, three quarters of a mile effective range, and extremely reliable. I don't know what the hell you're hunting, but unless it's in a fucking tank, sayonara, baby. Hey, you need me to show you how to use it? No, thanks. I'm familiar with him. I was in the service, too. No shit! Wait, wait are you kidding me? Where, where were you? What was it, Normandy, huh? No, no, Africa? All right, let me guess. Uh... Operation Husky. Yeah? What unit were you in? 504th Parachute. No shit, you were a paratrooper? And that was kind of hairy, I heard. Yeah, well, it wasn't no picnic, I tell you. I got hit, so they sent me home. Yeah, any medals? Yeah, Purple Heart and a DSC. Whoa, wait, wait, you got a cross? Let me tell you, they don't give those babies out for nothing. I was in Normandy, we hit Utah Beach. And yeah, that wasn't no picnic, neither, but... When I was crawling over the fence on the way back, I, I poked my eye out on a fucking tree branch. <laughs> well, hey, it was good enough for a discharge. Uh, look, I, I really gotta get going. All right. Hey, by the way, I'm Harry. Hey, Vito. Hey, good to meet you, Vito. Real good. If you ever need some hardware, you know where to find me. Yeah. There you go. I hope you drove here. She's a big girl. <laughs> good luck. Hey, thanks. Nice to meet you, Harry. The gun's in the crate, and there's a couple thousand rounds in the van out in the yard. Take it. It's all paid for. Here you go. Don't hurt yourself. turning into my number one customer.
Where are you from, Henry? Sicily. What brought you to the States? Mussolini. Yeah, we buy your ticket. Don't be a smart ass, Joe. My father was a... Uh, a man of honor. And things got pretty bad for us after Mussolini came into power. My old man figured I'd either get drafted or locked up. So, he sent me to America and got me a job working for Pimenti. So what happened to your father? He said he was too old to make the trip. Mussolini had him arrested, and he died in jail. They won't even turn his body over for a proper burial. That's rough. So how's your English so good? They're coming. Those black cars. Vito, aim for the fat bastard. We gotta nail him before he gets in the building. Get ready. All right, I'm on it. They got All guns. right, showtime. They got guns up there in that window. to get away <clears throat> okay you first Vito you're the fucking war hero go go they're we're coming cover you. for you fuck going in oh fuck watch out <clears throat> you better get the fuck with that fuck one that. Wait for Joe and Henry. Okay, hit the button, Vito. What the hell are you doing, Joe? What? Well, thirsty. Pretty good stuff. We should try it. Drinking on the job, huh? When'd you turn Irish? Sends his regards. Oh, fuck! <coughs> oh, fuck you! <coughs> Sorry, you. <coughs> Henry, you okay? Where'd he hit? Of I'm not fucking okay. He shot me in the fucking leg. <coughs> God. Oh, yeah, it's bleeding all Son over. Son of a place. Get me to El Greco. The fucking painter? No, the fucking doctor, okay, okay. you idiot. Get easy. I'm gonna get you there in a minute. The Greek guy lives up in Highbrook. Right, let's get you to the oh, car. Oh, Marona, you're heavier than you look. 
Oh, fuck. He almost shot my balls off. Take it easy. He missed him by a mile. No. Hey, careful! Please. Please. Stop the words. Yeah, well, you can walk if you don't quit your moaning. I don't need to get this. I don't make it. Hey, hey, don't go saying that, pal. It's just a scratch. The doc will give you a few stitches, and then we'll all go out and celebrate. No, really. Shh. You shouldn't talk right now. Helps conserve your strength. I've seen that in a movie once. Yeah? Then what happened to the guy in the movie? He died. Nah. Jesus, you drive like my fucking grandmother. Vito, come on. Can't this thing go any faster? I'm going as fast as I can, damn it. Well, it ain't fast enough. Just relax, would you? I got a hole in my leg the size of a fucking golf ball, and you're telling me to relax? Just get me to El Greco, damn it. So, fellas, who is this guy? What guy? This guy we're taking Henry to. El Greco? He's a doctor. Throw him a couple of bucks, he patches you up. No questions asked. He's the guy you go see when you can't go to the hospital, genius. Why the hell wouldn't you be able to go to the hospital? Because you go to the hospital with a bullet in you, first thing they do is call the cops. Yeah. So El Greco deals with a lot of guys in our line of work. You shouldn't need to visit him, though, Vito. You've always been a quick healer. Must be your diet. <laughs> Hey, Henry, you awake? Stay with me now. Yeah. Just hang in there, pal. We'll be at El Greco's in a minute. I can smell the souvlaki from here. Vito, there. That house. Park right in front. You a Greco, the doctor? No. I'm the fucking painter. A friend needs help. He's gonna bleed to you. Thanks, Doc. Good God, handle We owe you one. Get him inside. Hello, though. Wait. I got money for you. For the job. Take it. You know this could've waited. But thanks. And hey, thanks for everything. I hope you'll be okay. Yeah. Me too. I'll stay here with him. Meet me at my place. Please. All right.
Oh, hey, how you doing? Shh, no, 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 no. I just wanted to give you the money to pay off Papa's debt. Oh, Vito, that's great. I was gonna try and see if we could pay it back in installments. I got a little money. He wouldn't have hurt us. Don't be so sure, but it doesn't matter now. Here, take Where'd it. you get all this money, Vito? You haven't done nothing you'll be sorry for, have hey, you? don't worry. Everything's fine. Thank you, Vito. Thank no you. No problem. All right, look, I better be going. I, I don't want Ma to see me. She'll be asking where I got the money, too. Don't worry. I'll make something up. All right. Give her a big kiss for I me, will. okay? Take care of yourself, Vito. Vito Scaletta? Yeah? What's it to you? You're under arrest for the illegal distribution of federal ration stamps. You're coming with us. One of the gas station attendants ratted me out. The guy fingered me and they strung our mama into telling him where I was staying. But they had no idea who I was working for and I wasn't about to tell them. Henry was able to get me a lawyer, courtesy of his boss, Clementi. I was up Shit's Creek, but at least I had a paddle. Could have been a hell of a lot worse if the feds knew and about I any of my other activities. I find your crime to be even more serious, considering the fact that you stole national resources at a time when our country needs them the most. An act the gravity of which you, Mr. Scaletta... The guy was good, but even he couldn't get me yourself. out of this one. Should it was a lost cause from day one. Three months later... They handed down the verdict. Vittorio Antonio Scaletta, for your crimes against the people of this city and of this great country, this court hereby sentences you to ten years in a federal penitentiary. Welcome yeah. to hell, new boys. Ah, yes, yeah, me, baby. Baby. Woo -hoo, That's woo -hoo, right. Woo -hoo. Welcome to my yeah. life. <laughs> We're gonna get you. <laughs> Ooh, look at the that. federal pen. Thieves, murderers, Ooh, child molesters. Go, they were yeah, all boy. here. Come on. The yeah. worst of the worst. All right, get in line, yeah. gentlemen. Follow me, single file, and no Ooh, monkey woo -woo. business, or else. Ooh, woo -woo.
son of a bitch! I'm sorry. What's the matter? You speaking in English? Here. Let me teach you. What do you enjoy this, you sick fuck? Now, get your ass up and go back in line. No. Hey, smart ass. Don't make me repeat myself. Back in line. Right there, turn to your right. Your other right. Listen up, assholes. My name is Captain Terrence Stone, and this is my prison. You're here on the inside because you can't behave like normal human beings on the outside. Make no mistake. Your ass belongs to me now, and you'll do what I say, or you'll be sorry that you did it! Fuck with me, and I'll fuck with your sorry ass all day long! You were sent here to be rehabilitated, and rehabilitate you? We will. Okay, you assholes. We're gonna cut you loose just long enough to get you cleaned up. Now get in line and follow me. Welcome to the salon, ladies. You're gonna look just fucking beautiful. Hey, me too? I ain't got nothing on my head to cut. Shut your face, cue ball. Okay, let's go. Hey, shit for brains. Do what you fucking told. This was gonna be my new home for the next 10 years. Look like shit and smell like piss. I would have preferred dodging bullets in Europe to this. After three action-packed days of staring at the wall, I got a message from Joe to contact a guy named Leo Galante, who could supposedly help me out. This wasn't the kind of place where you could survive on your own. Leo Galante. Leave me the fuck alone. Uh, hey, uh, I'm looking for uh, Leo Galante. You know where I can find him? Buzz off, asshole. I'm looking for Leo Galante. Buzz off, asshole. I'm looking for Leo Galante. Hey, man, make your ass like a tree and get the fuck out of my face. And then try to fight the guards. But no guys chance. got balls. No chance right. to survive. Don't no listen to these motherfuckers. You go do uh, it. I know hey, you uh, I'm looking for uh, Leo Galante. You know where I can find him? Go bother somebody else. Why not? Oh, but what? Me make you deal with I know you. 
you're that fucking guinea who was with Bobo in the jewelry store. I'm in this fucking hell hell because of you. You got locked up because you're a stupid, crazy fuck. <laughs> you know, fellas, my mom was right. There is a god! <laughs> and he sent you here, you guinea bastard. So that I could pay you back! This looks interesting. Wanna make a small bet? Guys, then I break you, dear. Come on, you grown retard. You and your boyfriend, Barbara. Get him! This is gonna be easier than the time I shoved a potato up your mother's ass. It's like you for breakfast. You faggots for breakfast? Kick his ass, O'Neal! Stop his fucking brain! Yeah, kick his fucking Dago ass! What? Get him! Kick his teeth in! give you a little time to think about what you've done. Close it up. So O'Neill almost took my head off, but I made a stand. Let me tell you something, when you're inside, it counts for a lot more than you might think.
How long are you planning on keeping him in here? Long enough to learn his lesson. That's gonna have to change. He in any shape to fight. Should be. Boys didn't knock him around too bad after the brawl in the yard. All right, open it up. Rise and shine, Skeletta. You got yourself a visitor. My name is Leo Galante. I heard you wanted to speak to me. Yeah. Uh, one of Clemente's guys said I should contact you. Said maybe you could help me out. Oh, fuck Clemente. I don't provide protection for his guys in here. But I saw how you handled that Mick who's after you, O'Neill. It could prove useful. Come with me, boy. <clears throat> Now listen up, fellas. This is Vito. He's gonna be helping us out. Peppy here's got a big fight coming up against O'Neill. He needs a sparring partner. And when I saw of you out there in the yard, you're just the man for the job. You're gonna help us out, kid. In return, you'll be under my protection. And who knows? Maybe you'll even learn a thing or two along the way. I guess you can't say no to that offer, huh? I don't remember asking. All right, fellas, let's get this show on the road. Okay, today we're gonna work on your counterpunching. Rito, I want you to hit Pepe. Try and bust that big jaw of his. Pepe, you avoid the punch like I showed you. Then use that momentum to throw a punch of your own. All right, fellas, let's get going. Boy, Pepe. That's good. Whoa! Would you look at that? Hey! We supposed to be sparring or training? Change of plans, big fella. This kid's got fire in him. So now you're both gonna practice your counter punches. All right, Vito. See if you can do that again. It's a handy tool to have in the box, huh? And most guys ain't gonna see it coming. Pepe here, <laughs> he ain't most guys, though. Nice, nice, kid, nice. Give me two more of those. All right, one more of you. Shit, that had to hurt. There you go. You're a fast learner, kid. All right, fellas, that's enough for today. Nice work. So, how close did you get to Clemente, Vito? Actually, I never met him. I always dealt with either Henry Tomasino or Luca Garino. Huh. I can't believe that cocksucker Garino's still breathing. What was your deal with him? Well, you know, we did a couple jobs for him, and, uh... Luca said he'd bring us into the family for, uh, five grand. What? Typical fucking Alberto. He's always been a crooked bastard. Uh... So what is that, like, more than usual? Yeah, like five grand more than usual. You don't gotta pay to get in, Vito. You brought into the family once you prove that you're loyal, a good earner. And he can handle... <laughs> you know, the life. In any case, this is an interesting piece of news. When this gets out, Alberto and Luca are gonna have a lot of explaining to do. Do? Oh, jeez. Don't worry about that. We'll talk about it some other time. Come on, give me another 20. Watch where you walk, Guaylo. Maybe if your eyes were all the way open, you would have seen me coming, asshole. Galante. Crooked white devil. Nice to see you too, Mr. Wu. Crooked? You bet on your own guy and he lost. That's the way it works in this country. Then Wu offer you a rematch. I think I can arrange that. You up to it, Vito? Chinaman, huh? Yeah, get him a stepladder and send him over. All right, Wu. Looks like you got yourself a rematch. And none of that chop suey crap this time. Now listen, these chinks are quick little bastards. No point in throwing big punches early on. They'll never connect. All right. What am I supposed to do then? You hit him quick and tire him out. When he's weak, he'll put his guard down, and then you swing for the fences. Now get out there and show him what you're made of. 
Hey, does Vito get a fortune cookie after eating your guy for breakfast? <laughs> Let's go, Scaletta. You're late for work. Vito here's got the day off, courtesy of Mr. Galante. Gotcha. Don't get used to it, Scalata. All right. Come with me, Vito. What, are we gonna train some more? Uh, sorta. You'll see. Morning, kid. Morning, Mr. Galante. Why no training today? Not exactly. We got a challenge from the spooks, and I don't want to risk Peppy getting all banged up before his big fight with O'Neill. So I want you to take this one. It'll be good practice for you. Come on. Now, the guy you're gonna be fighting is a strong bastard, but he ain't too bright. Fights with his heart, not his head. You piss him off, you lower his guard. That's when you let him have it. All right, here we go. Make me proud, kid. Here. I'm gonna take this skinny ass white boy to school. Gonna hit him so hard as mama's mama gonna feel it. Hope you meatballs getting ready to lose. Yeah, that's the way to do it, my brother. Hey, win or lose your brother. The hardest work this bum ever did in his life. Oh, come on, my grandmama hit me harder than that. Your little cracker going down. Let's go, Vito. Put these bums back in their place. <laughs> Laying down on a job like always. Oh, this boy got as much chance of winning as a brother running for prison. Man, who taught this brother how to fight? Don't worry, Vito. You got him right where you want him. <laughs> Ain't so bad now. Finish him off. Now's your chance, oh, kid. Knock him in the next one. Just like last time, right, fellas? Hell of a job, kid. Hell of a job. Here's your cut, Vito. You earned it. Yo, one of the hacks is coming. What the hell is this? Some kind of circle jerk? All right, come on, Scaletta. You got a visitor. Hey, what's the holdup, Scaletta? You want to see your visitor? Or you want to... Hi, Vito. Hey, Frankie. How you doing? I'm doing good. Real good. Thanks. So, uh, how's things? Well... I, I got something to tell you. I'm getting married, Vito. Oh, Maron, that's great. I mean, it would have been nice if he asked my permission first, but... 
Hey, I'm happy for you. Vito, you're in jail. Look at yourself. How'd you let this happen? Hey, I already got a lecture from the judge, huh? I don't need another one. Just... just drop it, all right? Vito, there's something else. It's Mama. What do you mean? What about her? She's sick, Vito. She's been like this for weeks, and she's not getting any better. Look, Frankie. Go to Joe's. He's holding on to my money for me. You get her the best doctor you can find. And, uh... You keep the rest as a wedding gift. Vito... No, no, I mean it. Looks like I'm not gonna need it for a while. All right, looks like I gotta go. Uh, look, you take care of Ma. Tell her I love her. I will. And thanks, Vito. Bye. Let's go, Stiletta. Those turlets ain't gonna clean themselves. What's the matter? Keep cleaning, or else. Hey, looks like this one's still dirty. Clean it again. That's enough. Now you're gonna go join the rest of the animals in the showers. Get moving. All right, Scaletta, get your clothes off and get cleaned up, would you kindly? to drill. We can do this the easy way. 
for the hard way. Your choice. I got a better idea. Why don't you go fuck your buddies instead? Or better yet, go fuck yourself. Okay. I guess you want it rough. <laughs> it's... <clears throat> Do that again, sweet cheeks. Fuck, this guy's a fighter, huh? <clears throat> Hey! Hey! Whoa, whoa! What the hell's going on? And where's Frank? Don, boy, you know the drill. Oh, and uh, this came today. Might want to read it. Looks important. died while Francesca was visiting me. Instead of going toward a good doctor and a wedding gift, every penny I had went to the funeral. Mr. Galante wants to talk to you. Come with me. Good to have you back, kid. What the hell happened? Looks like the mix weren't up for a fair fight. A couple of them jumped Pepe yesterday. It was a lot more than a couple. Yeah, well, we sure as hell ain't gonna let this go. What do you got in mind? Pepe's got it all worked out. Took a little persuading, but O'Neill's all by himself right now in the gym. Guards won't be back for a while. You're just gonna give him a good beating, break a couple of bones, same as they did to me. Got it? Yeah, I got it. All right, come with me. Break a leg, kid. I'll wait out here. If the guards get back early, I'll warn you. Okay. All right, go for it. Hey, O'Neill. I got a little business to settle with you. Just the man I wanted to see. Again, harder! Ah, nice shot, Mary! No, me ma used to hit harder than that. Ah, is that all you've got? Ah, this time I'll finish you! Oh. I'm not gonna be so gentle this time! Jesus, what the fuck are you made of? Oh, you'll have to do better than that, little girl! Ha! 
Shut the fuck up. <laughs> It all worked out just fine. They never found out who did it. Leo arranged for me to relocate to his cell. Well, actually, it was more like a suite. Life was getting better by the minute. So, Vito, what do you plan on doing when you get out of this shithole? I don't know. I sure as hell ain't gonna go back to work on for Clemente, I can tell you that. Yeah, you're better off just forgetting about that old bastard. Trust me. Alberto's a real cocksucker, and you can bet that lawyer he's hired was just there to make sure you didn't rot. But don't worry. You'll get his. Letting guys into your family for money like he offered you is against the rules. He's gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? I thought Clemente was the boss. You obviously don't know how things work around here. You see, there's more than one family in Empire Bay. There's three. Each family controls their own neighborhoods. There's a system of rules, and if there's any disagreements, the bosses of all the families meet to work things out. That's the commission. Great, so what do I do now? Am I in trouble too? No, 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 no. nothing like that. You're young, you're smart, and you've proven you can keep your mouth shut. You're exactly the type of guy everybody wants working for him. Yeah, but I don't even know who these other guys are. There's two other bosses besides Clemente. One is Carlo Falcone, the other... It's Frank Vinci. Carlo is young and ambitious. The guy's a freaking nut job. He's new blood. Whereas Don Vinci is a man of honor. He respects the old ways. You know these guys? <laughs> you could say that. And Frank Vinci is consigliere. You think being just a regular old man gets you all this? But listen, Vito. I'm getting out in a few months. When I do, you'll see what we can do about... Adjusting your sentence. Pepe, come here. Have a taste. Galante wasn't lying. He called in a few favors and arranged for me to get out early. Knocked almost four years off my sentence. Now, Joe used to come visit me and, you know, kind of fill me in on what was happening on the outside. But I tell you, as soon as I walked out of that prison gate, it was like a whole new world. Vito! Hey, you break out of jail? Ah, oh, jeez. Good to see you in regular clothes and on the right side of the bars again. Welcome home. Come on in, come in, come in. Man, I tell you, lots changed since I went away. Yeah, I guess it has. And hey, it ain't much, but I hooked you up with a nice little apartment, just like you Thanks. said. Now I got a surprise for you. We're going out tonight to celebrate, and I'm going to introduce you to somebody. Yeah, sounds good to me. You're going to need a little cash so you can get things going again. I got a piece for you, too, if you want it. Ah, here. Always comes in handy. 
So, uh, what do you want to do now that you're a free man? Hey, what do you think? I want to go back to working with you again. All right. I was worried they might have turned you straight nah. in there. <laughs> I actually met a lot of people and learned a lot while I was on the inside. I had a much better idea of how things work now. Good thing. Because I wasn't exactly sitting around on my ass while you was in there. Don't worry, though. I'll show you the ropes, like always. All right. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Jesus, I didn't expect you to be raring to go like this, but what the hell? Come on, let's go see your new place. We'll take my car and go meet your new landlord. You do the driving so as you can get back into the swing of things. Just hope you didn't forget how to drive while you was in the can. Hey, what are you worried about? It's like riding a bicycle. Sure, but when you smack up your bicycle, it don't cost a fortune to fix the friggin' thing. All right, all right, I get it. You're like an old lady. Yeah, I sure as hell hope so. And if you ain't noticed, cars are a lot different since you went away. You'll see. Your new place is just down the street, right near the boardwalk. You're gonna love it. It's good to have you home. I'd done pretty good while you was locked up, but now that you're out, the sky's the limit. You seen Henry lately? Nah, not for a few years now. You really felt bad about what happened, you know. So what you been up to? We couldn't really talk about much when you visited me. Well, after the shit Clemente and that little asshole Luca tried to pull on us, I got hooked up with the Falcone family and I started working for them. Really? Yeah, you'll see tonight. I told you, I got a nice surprise planned for you. But don't bother asking, because I ain't gonna tell you. Oh, boy. Don't worry. I've been planning this for weeks. That's what I'm afraid of. You drive like my fucking grandma, do you know that? Oh, don't be such a baby. What the fuck are you doing? What's up your ass today? Came out of nowhere. All right, this is close enough. Park here. Go check the place out. It's on the top floor. I already paid the first month's rent for you. And hey, the entrance to your garage is on that side street over there. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate it. Hey, and about tonight, we're going to a real classy joint. So buy yourself a nice suit. They won't let you in this place look like an ex-con. Okay, here we are. I'm sure you'll find it to your liking. I live in a similar apartment myself. As you can see, it even comes with a telephone at no extra charge. And here's the bathroom, clean and modern, with all the hot water you could ever want. <laughs> And here is the master bedroom. And there is the master's bed. It's comfy, with room enough for two. Maybe three. And it doesn't squeak. Always a plus in my book. I sure hope you like your new apartment, sir. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just one question. When are you leaving? Now, if you'll pardon me, I have to go and check out another client. Goodbye now. Yeah, see you.
feel free to look around. Just let me know if you need anything. I think you'll find the quality is well worth the price. Enjoy your pr I think you'll find the quality is well worth the price. Anything else I can do for you? Take care. 